What is up my awesome YouTubians and welcome back to From the Dips where we are once again back in the adventure mode back on the rough seas and trying to gather some resources <laughs> as we launch a couple of torpedoes towards something over there in the distance which you can just barely see is a little very grey dot anyways how are you all doing? Tell me, let me know in the box, in the down there. Today, I honestly have no idea what we're going to be getting up to. I do know that we have to finish off the torpedo bay. However, that is costing us quite a lot in terms of ammunition. So I am, you know, questioning whether we should or should not, uh, you know, finish that up with... What was it? How many would we have? Uh, we would have six large torpedoes. Hello, we're getting lasered by some... Oh, Jesus Lord! Would you stop that crap? Let us actually do probably that, because... Yeah. Whilst we continue to launch torpedoes at something over there, and being lasered by something over there. Excellent start for today. Excellent. So it looks like we've probably taken him out with our frag large frag torpedoes oh wow that's uh, 3k over there so we're gonna go and get rid of this guy and I'm just gonna grab you know these these resources over here and then we shall see what we should be getting up to probably hit another gate I am thinking that's pretty much how we're gonna be starting this one off excellent so I just launched a couple of our anti-air missiles Let's go and see, you know, if they're gonna connect. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. We've got a bit of a droney stuff coming on. There's our simple weapons. There's our large torpedoes. Excellent stuff. Let's go and see what our large torpedoes are gonna do. Here goes our torpedoes. Actually, I did change them to explosive, so they're no longer frag. They are now explosive. Um, don't know how better or uh, worse that is, to be honest. How are we doing? We seem to be doing quite okay. Looks like we are already lasering the enemy. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. And that is AI did it. Very good. Very nice. Oh, wow. Look at all of that. Let us go and grab the snot out of all that good stuff and quickly run back over there, there, and there, and uh, jump through a gate, and we'll see what we're going to focus on today. Who okay, so before we head through this gate, we have currently been in this uh, area for six, wow, six and a half hours. Uh, warp difficulty is 1.331. So let us see, you know, how things are gonna change as soon as we get through here. Well, so we try to get rid of an incoming torpedo. Okay then, so now at 1.4641. No idea what that actually, you know, really kind of what it means in terms of what we're going to be running into. Uh, let's put it on there. Currently, I've got my engines turned off because I've ran into a bit of an issue because I am on um, our, a test build, uh, 2.603. Um, currently, I've ran into a bit of an issue where if I set this to, like, as you can see there, from 0 to 1,500 1, meters, it should turn the fuel engines on, right? Currently, I've turned it off because no matter what distance I set it to and if there is an enemy it is turning it on so I could put it from one to two meters and the enemy could be 3,000 meters away it will uh, still turn it on so I've currently got that turned off so that's going to upset our laser systems a little bit 
Um, I could probably try to tie in the engines. Actually, yes, I can tie in the engines um, through an ACB that will trigger um, if it's either A or B um, with a, you know, with a, a one. And yes, we do have a couple of my, some of my new blocks are here. This uh, UI, I have since fixed it, so it would be, you know, one to two slope left, and over here will be one to two slope right. So I have sorted that out as well. And um, also the, the health values that you can see there, they are also uh, sorted out as well as these are a little bit over the top because I didn't set the volume correctly. So yes, those are you know going to be sorted out before um, this gets released into dev test. Okay, so a little bit of a change of plan. I'm not going to put them near the engines because we don't need to mirror it and all that. So we're going to go with Miss Triggered High, you know, like our forwards and rear turret. They are activating with A or B. So our forwards is on A, our rear turret is on on B. We're going to say you know turn our fuel engines you know to max, like that. So if Miss Gimpet A uh, is above zero, then I'll turn them on. And we'll do the same here, but if it's B, so that will be, you know, our rear turret activating. Uh, fuel engines, set max, like that. So this is actually working out okay. So if there is no enemy uh, within zero to 1,500 meters, this is actually working. It's the one where it's trying to to read if there is an enemy isn't working. So what we can do is we can say, you know, if Miss Gimpret A is above zero, as we have here, then turn on the fuel engines. If Miss Gimpret B is above zero, then turn on the fuel engines. And if there is no enemy, then it's going to turn the fuel engines off. So hopefully that will work out okay for us. Over hither, we're still floating around, still uh, trying to find uh, some resources. We are generating fuel. We are still generating ammo as well. So hopefully good people will leave me, you know, your um, thoughts and opinions on the whole uh, torpedo setup as they are large torpedoes. Um... You know, should we um, go with all six? Or is that going to be a massive strain on our ammo? I personally am thinking it's going to be a massive strain on our ammo. And we really don't need that right now. So perhaps leaving it with just the two. But then it's going to be absolutely and utterly fun if we just said, yeah, now we really don't give a rat's ass about all of that bloody material stuff and ammo because... <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> it's just fun. Um, we could probably install another two, perhaps, to, for now. Let's see. I know we have the resources to probably do all six, but, you know, we do have to keep in mind any repair bills. Like so... Excellent. Are these ones, I think... Hello, why didn't that connect? These ones, I think, I'll probably do um, with frags. I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab these and I'm going to say, yeah, copy to all launch pads, but instead of explosives, over here we're going to go with frags. And I'm going to put these frags on a 90 degree as well, just to increase things a bit. Oh, right, so it looks like we are firing on something. I was um, just sorting out some of the mimics on the other side here because I didn't uh, copy their shapes over to the other side. What do we have? A little sub, a little white flares, flayed sub being pelleted by explosive torpedoes. It's gone. Very good. So a bit of an EMP there. Taking it out. Very nice. So let us see how much resources that small thing is going to leave us. Ah, 3k. That's not bad, man. I'll uh, go and collect that. Right then. So it's probably about time we start to get some of these new blocks down on our little boat here over here. There you go. See, the, the offsets are for those people that, you know, that like to do the whole slope stacking things. 
uh, like me as well. Um, there might be some additional ones as well. I don't know, but you know, we shall have, we shall see. Excellent, and that makes it a little bit more smoother. Excellent, and there we go, and that is some of the new blocks on our little nosy over here. They only need to start to color this thing up a bit, get a bit of a paint job going down. Looks like we are firing torpedoes at something else. Um, don't know what. What are you firing at? Oh Jesus, something has a pack. But to me, it looks like that enemy is lion. It doesn't look like it's a booty. Oh, wow. So, yes, this thing actually has packs. You know, I, I thought they were there for decoration. <laughs> I'm like, what? The deep water guard has a goddamn pack? Are you serious? Yeah, man. The casket ball has the pack fun and games. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. You know, no longer has the pack, fun and games. Excellent. It's looks like we've got something in the distance over there trying to get our attention, which it has succeeded. Let's go and have a look, see what that is. I think it's a Frankie. Is that another Frankie? Uh, yes it is. Excellent. And that is poor Frankie. Sleeping with the fishes. You read the news, looks like we got something else taking shots at us from the distance with another goddamn pack. Oh Jesus Christ, that is a horrible pack. Oh my lordy, what is this, this bees that is being sent towards us? Oh wow. Oh that is, let me just, let me just do a bit of a, a pause. Oh crap, not now, because now I can't see crap. There we go. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that is just awesome. That is, I am absolute, oh crap. I am absolutely loving the detailing that has been, that is going on, on this. Oh wow, yeah. up the top here what do we have all right we got those old old themes that we used to use back in the old times my lord are these bloody artilleries no that's just decoration right yes that is <laughs> yeah, that is it is yes it is it is decoration okay very very good i thought my god man you got those as well but no they're uh <laughs> that's decor oh wow Oh, these don't look nice at all. This thing does not look like a a nice thing to be against. Let's go over here, though. Okay, so we have unposed. Let us see. Ooh, I'm really not going to enjoy this. We are really not going to enjoy this one bit. Ooh, that pack. Oh Jesus Lord, it took out a chunk. Not the goddamn turret, you horrible thing. Oh sweet Jesus, everything's gonna go tits up. 
We are absolutely and utterly screwed, I think, because we hardly have any armor. <laughs> we hardly have any armor. Definitely have not been armor stacking yet. I mean, okay, we do have some in a few places, but... Uh... Oh, crikey. Let's go and have a look-see over here. What are we doing to it? Please tell me we have destroyed a large chunk out of it. Oh, there goes our beautiful little missiles there. Medium missiles, I should say. Oh, bloody hell. This is really, really going to hurt us. We have a hole. Well, we nearly have a hole. Oh, crikey, you have... No, those are our torpedoes. Okay, my God, I was going to say you have torpedoes as well. You horrible thing. Health below 80 and sinking. That is it. Tell face. Be gone, you foul, foul thing. My God, man, I thought that was going to end us. <laughs> Excellent. Let's see, how much uh, good use has that left us? Oh, very nice. We'll just go and collect all of that good stuff. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff indeed. There are our lasers. There are our torpedoes. Literally, well, actually, no, it destroyed itself because I had one of those things and it totally did not think it would have one of them, to be honest. Excellent stuff. <laughs> Beautiful. So yes, I've just been going around certain places, just replacing a couple of our slopes to some of the new ones. Um, just, you know, trying to make things look a little bit more smoother here and there. So it looks like we have another thing with the whole pack mess and uh, those things. Oh, it's another one to use. And one of you. Could you, like, you know, go and attack him? He's closest to you. Please. <laughs> Please. Now that will look, see. Now we're going to smack it down. Oh, I see you've uh, sort of, like, going for him as well now, huh? Oh, yes. Please drag it into you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Who read it in? So I finally decided what we are going to be getting up to for today. Um, I just cleared out a little bit of area above our torpedo bay. Um, yeah, like that. We want... I think we're going to be starting off from somewhere over here. Um, just put down a couple of bits and pieces. Uh, yes, you have guessed it. We are going to be uh, installing... Some lambs, some some happy happy sheep, some happy lambs that have no wool, and we're gonna have one of those like this. Uh, I think we're gonna go with three of these. These lambs preferably are gonna be uh, used for crams, to be honest. 
think something like that. And then we want to do the usual thing. One of those. One of these. And get rid of that. Why, why is you... Is you not... Oh, of course you're not. <laughs> we don't have any pumps. <laughs> Righty. Let's put these down. Poop. Poop these down. Um, do I want it like that? Okay, so just changing things up a little bit. Uh, try to utilize all of this space that we have here. Uh, no, we want one of those, don't we? Like that. And... Let's just rearrange these guys over here. Q switches. And what are we going to get 4.4? That is pretty much it. Do you guys actually put a uh, output regulator on these things? Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. We are, oh crap, launching stuff at things. What are we launching at? Oh crap, we've got one of those. Um, Yes, let us... Yes, very good, very good. That is what I wanted you to target first. It was something else. It was you over here. A, a uh, Grendel, very good. So our torpedoes, I think, are going towards him. I hope. Yes, they indeed, they are. Our four lovely torpedoes. Whoopsie days, they've run out of juice. How did you... Oh, really? So they're only... Th 3,000 uh, meter range on these guys, and we have three explosives. We want another frag. Okay, so for our lamb nodes, oh my god, man, we're shooting at something else again. What is it? Where is it? I'm somewhere over there. We are still trying to sort of like get our backside in this uh, resource zone. Uh, we're going to go with three lambs over here on this side. Yeah, so I'm going to be going like three uh, lamb nodes per stick that we have down downstairs. Should we go like that? Or should we go one more? Oh crap! Why? 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 Game? Why does everything have cannot be just you know with the odd? <laughs> God damn it! Um, crap. Okay. Well. We'll do it like that. So we're going to have our lamb nodes there. And then over here we're going to have another set of three. Um, set one. Two. And three. That looks somewhat okay. I guess. Yeah, that should be okay. That should be okay. Right. So here we want... And like a so, let us chuck one of these guys down. Uh, <laughs> one of those there. So that means, where is this currently? Oh dear. Yes, no, that isn't... Yeah, no, um, here then. We'll pop it here, and we'll go up this way. Okay, so we'll pop this guy over here then, as things are getting a little bit tight for space. I mean, down there we have got the whole mainframe thing, which, you know, is getting a bit in the, bit in the way now. I think we might have to start to see where we're going to move that. Who reached you after a bit of farting around? I think we got a bit of a, you know, a thing, a path for our laser system is that connected it's probably not connected and i am not looking at the right okay so i think we've got a bit of a path going on for our laser setup do we or do we not yes we do very good yes it is right in our head <laughs> what can you do we have a laser passing through us Okay, so that's that lands node, uh, or nodes set up. Let us fix those things in a little bit. Like so. Um, yeah, alright, so I just backed up, you know, these bits with a bit of heavy armor and popped down some of these good surge protectors there. What in the hell are we shooting at now? So we have something else coming towards us. 
Is this going to be a little demonstration of our land system or not? Yeah, that's a no. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> for being a guinea pig for us unfortunately you failed <laughs> right let's connect this side up as well excellent 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 we've got that going now where are we going to pass our laser or our connection okay we can probably do something here okay so let us see can we do this and we have to connect Our laser system up to it. Righty, so this should now connect to the one that we popped down over there. Let me just do that and this. Do we have a laser going through? Yes, we do have a laser going through. Very good. So, uh, whoops, we don't have a laser going up this way though. Why? Because <laughs> you ain't plugged it in, that's why. Alright, so we got that also connected up. Very nice. Let's plug this thing in. Actually, let's pop down probably like this uh, let's get some color my god facebook would you shut the hell up please <laughs> bling bugger off whoever it is oh god damn it i also forgot to put the mirror mode on honestly excellent and just pop down a couple of those in here like that to be honest um, i really don't know how many we should put down that's probably overkill most probably is overkill and could you please tell me why you did not shoot up that uh, incoming cram target all projectile types i think we'll probably set that to something like 800 and copy to all on vehicle are they working or are they not working <laughs> Uh, could somebody shoot at us, please? Okay, so hopefully we've got a cram in coming. Okay, so it's a Marauder. So his crams are usually nice and juicy targets. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for being our test subject. Even inside the adventure mode, the Marauder comes to save our asses, volunteering himself for <laughs> target practice and also for testing out our lambs. Very good. Excellent stuff. All right, so our lambs should be working there. Um, hopefully, you guys, you know, will let me know in the box in the down there. Um, you know. If we should change them up a little bit or something, you know, if you have any better ideas, just let me know. Okay, so that is the lambs armored up. Now we just need a couple of test subjects to try the uh, lamb system out on. You read that, so hopefully we can get to test out our lambs. Hopefully. Because they are going to be targeting... Um... <laughs> <coughs> oh crap yes our lambs are going to be targeting missiles as well i don't know if i'm gonna keep that uh you know keep them targeting missiles hopefully you know you get people as you know well let me know in a box in the down there should we allow them to target missiles or should we just have them dedicated just for crams only so i'll let me know who read that? So let's we've got something over there in the distance. Let me just pop this spin block down. We're going to get back to that in a mo. There's a little something that I just, you know, I kind of like doing when setting up, uh, like, munition warners and so on. Ooh, hello! What is that? Wait, 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 wait. Give me some pauseness. Oh, that is the deliverance. Are these real container stuff? What do you have in here? So you got what? You got okay. So you got some. So, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Some misly stuff going on. What about down on the underneath? Nothing much going on down there. Oh, this is. Uh, yeah, I'm loving this. <laughs> that is awesome. 
Oh, you poor little Hector, he got stuck and stuffed in the whole coal thing, dearie, dearie me. What an inside. They, they usually chuck a couple of bits and pieces inside, you know, of these constructs. Okay. Down here. Wow, that's a lot of steam action going on. Ooh, very good, very good. Excellent stuff. Loving it, loving it. It's just, this is just really, really awesome. So well done to whoever made that one. Well, this one, I should say. Uh, how much is that? Cost nine hundred and fifty. Kind of cost you cost. Okay. Does it tell us how much it's actually carrying in materials? Um, oh, sweet Jesus! A look at all of those good, lovely, lovely materials let us go and blow the snot up out of that thing or this thing i should say i'm loving this the way it's set up and the location of the missiles as well excellent are you going to there you go Beautiful stuff. So we've turned it into a submarine. <laughs> it's a pretty damn level. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent stuff indeed. Beautiful. Those torpedoes are doing a hell of a job, man. It looks like it's about time that we revise our turrets, to be honest. But we can't make them bigger because we just don't have the space. So... Hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see, how much is that going to leave us b b leave behind? Oh, very nice indeed. Let us go and pick the crap out of all of that good stuff over there. Do we have anything else laying around? Oh my god. We do. We have a load of stuff lying around the place once again. So yes, over here, what I was doing uh, was, is was, uh, was it down here? Down here. Yes. Let us pop onto this spin block. Now, what I like to do usually with uh, some of the detection is, oh no, those are, yeah, yeah those are like, let's see. are we going to get rid of those missiles? did once again very good very good um yeah pop into this angle control i think about what about 64 uh, this way okay something like that and then we come out of there now they have currently moved the munition warners in the countermeasure section it's no longer in the ai section i don't know how i feel about that to be honest because we have to go back into the ai section anyway to get the wireless receiver. Um, and there you go. And that is that somewhat um, in line, I guess, with that uh, slope there. So yeah, that's, you know, uh, some bits and, you know, a little bit of a bit and pieces as to, you know, how I like setting some stuff and things up. Oh, wow, it looks like, what, are we full of resources? No way, we totally are full of resources, man. Um, yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, we don't want... <laughs> no, goddammit. Uh, crapness. Let's quickly do this and that. And what, do we need some more? Yeah, let us pop another one there. And armor this thing up. So we left, yeah, we left quite a lot of resources back there. So I'm going to go back there to collect them. Excellent. So we picked up all of that good and lovely material. My God, we are full again. Okay, so I'm going to quickly chuck two of these in here like that. Totally unarmored and all of that good stuff. So we did actually pick up that 7K that was left there. There is the cauldron. He is somewhat in range, I think. Or he is in range for our torpedoes, at least. Yeah, we are totally, yeah, really knocking the crap out of him with our torps there. Very nice. That's just awesome damage there. 
Let's have a look over here again, see how we're going to do versus the missile. So, you know, our uh, flares and so on, they, it is distracting because as you, can, as you saw, you know, the missile went sort of like upwards. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Lovely stuff. Well, unfortunately, I have recorded well over three hours. Um, we're going to have to call it here on this one, my awesome YouTube unit. So I do hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to smash that like and subscribe button. Like that, owe you money. Let's try to get this channel to grow and make a bit of a community for us on the YouTubes uh, and all of that good stuff. Yep. So, yes, for now, my awesome YouTube take care. And I will catch you all on the next one.